Hey guys, you're on the bench with Matt, and we're going to take a look at some of the mods you can do to the Walkera Runner 250. Um, to start with, the most obvious, you'll see the tri-blade propellers. These are HQ 5x4x3. Uh, you'll get a little better stability, um, better responsiveness, but uh, you do lose a little bit of top speed. But uh, good prop to use. Uh, try it out. Try it for yourself. Um, to use those, you're going to need, or any kind of aftermarket prop, you'll need a MT2204 prop nut. Uh, these are made for Emax motors, but uh, they fit the fit the runner perfect. Um, next, you'll see I've got the racing 3D printed racing plate. Really, really gives a nice look to the runner. Nice, sleek, um, really streamlines it, but uh, cool upgrade right there. I'll uh, post the link in the comments below, so if anyone's interested, check those out. Um, great guy that, that makes these. But uh, let's see, you'll also see I've replaced the antenna. Um, this is just a cheap eBay antenna, I think it was 15 bucks for a pair of them. But it uh, works, works great. I saw probably a 30% increase on range from the stock, stock antenna. Um, Real happy with it, and, and it looks cool. Uh, coated in some kind of some kind of rubber. Uh, let's see. Another obvious change is uh, we're missing legs. Actually, cut. Let's see if I can get a, a view here. Actually, took a Dremel and uh, cut the legs off. Uh, just cut them smooth. So this is one one solid piece for the support. Um, took some weight off. And uh, also in a in a crash uh, takes away some leverage points. But uh, on the underside here, you'll see some some LEDs that are not stock. Uh, these are blue LEDs I put up front. Uh, ran the wires through underneath the bottom side of the power board, and then let's see if you can see it. Well, it's covered in, in tape. I uh, put some electrical tape there, but there's uh, the XT60 positive and negative leads, and uh, that's what's powering my LEDs that I've added. Uh, here's a red, red LED for night flying. Um, let's see. That's probably the uh, most noticeable upgrades. Switched out this uh, antenna for one of them, the uh, folding antennas. This was an early model, had the stationary antenna mount. Um, probably noticed my foam piece in there, just to keep the battery from sliding up into the camera or OSD. Uh, the lost signal buzzer I mounted behind the camera. Uh, seemed like a good place for it out of the way. And uh, I think that's probably, probably about it. Uh, another thing I recommend is, is switching over to a decent battery. These tourniquets really, uh, you, you're going to add a minute or so flight time to your um, to how much you're flying, but uh, a lot better battery worth uh, worth. Actually, these I think are cheaper. You can get about two of these for one of the stock batteries. Uh, let me plug it in. I'll show you the LEDs real quick. And I don't think we'll be flying it today, but uh, I'll do another review, a flight review, uh, in the coming coming weeks. But here you can see the LEDs that were added. And those are great for night flying. I, I really enjoy line of sight flying. Uh, working into FPV, not as comfortable as, as I am with a line of sight. But uh, these really help with orientation at night. Pretty simple mod though, a um, little bit of solder and, and you're, you're powered. But uh, that's it, uh, if you like the video hit like below, uh, subscribe to my page, and uh, thanks for watching.